I need a, can someone pass me down a handout? I meant to carry it back with me, but I forgot. Okay, so the nitty gritty of Facebook ads. Thank you. Now, I want to point out in your, uh, your worksheets that I've got the step-by-step -step things we'll go through today. Uh, again, if we don't have time, we'll carry it over to next month. I've also got on page two, the back of one, your homework for the next class, and we're going to go through it step by step. And then also I have how to set up your Facebook page, Facebook post ideas, which you will use today, and opt-in freemium ideas that you will also hopefully will get to today, okay? All right. Okay, so there's going to be two assumptions I'm going to be instructing from today. Number one, that you already have your business Facebook page set up. Is there anybody here who does not have that? Okay, so we're not going to take the time to do that. But if you go to how to set up your Facebook page, it's very simple. Now, one thing you will need to know is that when you set up your Facebook business page, it has to connect your page to someone who is real. So it's going to want to jump off your personal Facebook page, okay? So it has to do that, and, uh, and then the steps are all in here. If you have any problems at all, I don't mind at all sitting down with you and, and doing it really quick, okay? And then also, um, for those of you that do have your Facebook page, that you've been regularly posting relevant, entertaining posts. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a no? Okay. All right. So that's fine. Um, I'm going to teach you guys what I do. And, uh, and we'll get you all set up for that. And that's what the Facebook post ideas are. So let me tell you the purpose of this class. Now, this is a series. And we probably will go over into October. There's so much to cover. If we get done early, um, I'll be surprised. Uh, we want to get done by October because normally we don't do these lunch and learns in uh, November or December just because of the holidays. If we have to, maybe we can move it to a different day. But if you miss a class, I will record it and put it on my page. That way you can stay caught up, okay? And then you can also, I'd recommend getting the number of the person you partner with today. That way if there's any homework uh, that you need to do together in the next class, you can get together, okay? All right, so... Basically, what we're going to do is cover all of the groundwork you're going to need before you set up your ad. Number two, we're going to shift your mindset from just conducting business to viewing all aspects of your business as opportunities to capture content. That is very important. Uh, we're going to publish a Facebook ad by the end of this series. And then I'm also going to teach you how to know if your Facebook ad is working. And then also we'll even get into Google Analytics a little bit. Okay? That'll be at the very end. So first of all, let me tell you the difference between boosting a post and Facebook ads. Because a lot of people are confused on that. Uh, when you boost a post, I liken it to machine gun fire. Okay? It's not targeted. You're just, it's like throwing spaghetti against the refrigerator, seeing what sticks. You don't have as many options to really hone down to your target uh, client or customer. For that reason, I never do a Facebook post. Uh, some might, maybe you've seen success from it, but to me, it's a waste of money if I can do a sponsored Facebook ad and go right into that niche that I want to get into, okay? So a, a boost is uh, broad, it's not as effective because you're just paying money for them to shoot it out to a certain age range, a certain um, gender, okay? Now the Facebook ads, you'll see on your Facebook uh, wall, and so if you guys ever wanna pick up your phone and start looking, but you'll see where you have the sponsored. That's what we're going to do. So that's where people have really targeted you for it to show up on your wall based on where you've been as far as websites, any interests, and things like that. So the good news is you can do that too. The bad news is uh, Big Brother is very real. Okay? They know what you're doing, and uh, a.k.a. Google. <laughs> um, so you're going to be able to go straight into the Facebook wall of those that want to do business with you, and that's what makes it golden.
Um, I have done this for several businesses and one, like I said last month, I literally worked myself out of a job because they got too busy. So I'm a little irritated on that, um, but hey, they're doing good. <laughs> Okay, Facebook Pixel. This is the very first thing we're going to talk about. And I believe, and we're going to literally go through the steps. But I think I have, I thought I had on here, nope, um, how to do your Pixel. And I didn't. So, um, it's on the front. Is it on the front? Yeah, right here. There we go. Okay. So we've got the Facebook business page out of the way. We've got the website. Um, well, no, we haven't talked about the website. How many of you do not have a website for your business? Okay. Okay. So if you have a website, you want to make sure it's appealing, it's attractive, it's easy to use. If you don't have a website yet, that's okay. When people Google you, it'll take them to your Facebook page. But think about how you um, think about doing business with a company. You hear their name, you immediately go to their website. Then you'll go to Facebook, okay? So you want it to where, um, and, and, and if you think about it, you used to, you would meet a person, shake their hand, that was the first impression, now, you actually go to their website that's the first impression and I have just decided and I'm sure you guys have as well whether to do business based on somebody's website so if it's cluttered if it doesn't look nice I'm not interested I'll move on to somebody else's okay now the Facebook pixel what the heck is that so it's a piece of code that when you create your Facebook page and then you go in to create your ads it gives you a code and an ID, and I'm about to show you, and it tracks your visitors when they go to your website. So you install it on your website, and I'm gonna show you that as well, and every time someone goes to your website, it tracks them and sees where all they went, okay? It builds an audience so that when you go to set up your Facebook ad, it's like uh, warm calling versus cold calling. So it's going to present your ad to people that have actually been on your website. If you don't have a pixel, Facebook can't get that data. Okay? And so Facebook will actually tell you, and so should your website analytics, what are your most popular pages. And you can use the visitors that go to those pages as an audience in your Facebook ads. Now, this may not make sense. It will. Okay? So also, um, a brilliant thing to do on Facebook ads is creating what's called a lookalike audience, and we will get into that later in this series. And so it'll create what's called a lookalike audience that will basically take the data from your pixel and generate an audience of like 1.2 million people so that whenever you do your ad, it will target the lookalike. So basically, if people are going to your website, there are people out there that are going to similar websites. That's your look-alike audience, okay? So that's what the, the Pixel does. And um, again, it's brilliant because you're putting your product or service before people that are interested in it, okay? And there's lots of other things we can do with that too. So let me show you how to do the Pixel, okay? So I'm going to go over here. Okay, so I'm going to start right from the, the first. Uh, to show you now, I'm going to go back over to my Pixel page. Okay, so this is my personal Facebook page. Ooh, look at that ring. That's pretty. Okay, so over here on this little arrow, okay, I'm going to go down to Manage Ads. Okay, so you always start at your personal page. So we're going to go to Manage Ads. And that's going to take us into this page. Now, um, I've got several accounts that I work with, including my clients. So I'm going to click Facebook ads over here on the left and go down to ads manager. And you'll want to do that as well. Okay, so you can see here are some of the accounts I work with. 
And I'm gonna go down to the Sherry Wilson et al. because that's my business. And these are some of the ads that I've done in the past, okay? Now, once you get into your ads manager, you're gonna go back up to that again and see pixels. Tammy, you're interrupting my um, training. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, so just to show you guys again, because uh, I know it can be confusing. So you're going to click the, the down arrow on your personal page, Ads Manager. Then you're going to go over here, Ads Manager again. And then you're going to pick whatever account you're working with. Now, notice this one right here says Personal Account. You can do ads with your personal account but I want to do my business account of Genius Communication. So now we're gonna go back up to Ads Manager and Pixels. Now I wanna show you something and this is important. Notice over here on the left, it says Sherry Wilson again. That's not the correct account. So you always wanna make sure that you are in the correct account for your Pixel because I have made that mistake and did an ad with my personal account instead of my business. So I'm gonna go back down to Sherry Wilson and here we are in my pixel area. Now, it says under data sources, it genius com pixel. That ID right there, you will need to install the pixel on your website if you wanna do it on your own. Okay, but it's also good to note that pixel because again, I have also made the mistake of installing the wrong pixel on my website. So it sent them to my ministry website, not my business website. Okay, so you really, it, there's a lot on the screen sometimes. So the main thing is just really pay attention, maybe even put in Evernote or your notes or whatever, um, what that pixel ID is so that you can make sure you're getting the right stuff. Okay, so how do you install it on your website? Well, let me show you, there's a couple ways. So if you click the business name, so let me go back because I did that too fast. So where it says Genius Com Pixel, I'm gonna click that. And I'm gonna go over here to Setup, Install Pixel, see? And here's your options. Okay, so um, you can connect to a partner platform, um, BigCommerce, Magento, Squarespace, Wix, anything like that. If you use any of those website providers, which I use Squarespace, all you need is your ID. That I showed you guys already. If you want to manually install the code yourself, if you click that, it brings up all the code and it tells you where to put it. Okay, so if you're a website developer, you're going to know where to go. If you're not, the other option is email instructions to your developer. So whoever is in charge of your website should have your pixel on there. And I cannot stress how important that is. You need your pixel on your website. Okay, so with me, like I said, I have Squarespace. Is there anybody here that uses Squarespace, Wix, anything like that? Oh, you do? Okay, so let me just show you real quick because it may be familiar for those that don't. So I would grab my ID right here. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it real quick. And I've already got my um, website open. See where it's right here? I would just paste it in there, right there. So a lot of the uh, big name website develop, you know, development like Squarespace, Wix, and stuff like that, they have it where you can just grab that ID, it'll partner up with it, you're good to go. When I used to build my websites from scratch or when I used WordPress, you would have to actually get the code, put it in the header and all that. Am I correct, Rana? Okay. And if you have anything to contribute, please do. Okay. So once you have it installed, you're good to go. But now, if you're like me, I want to make sure it's working. Okay, so then you want Google. So you gotta use Google Chrome. And you can Google uh, Facebook Pixel Helper. It only works in Google Chrome as far as I know. And so when you click Facebook Pixel Helper, 
you download it. You would have a download right there, but I've already got it installed. So you would download it, install it, and, uh, and then I'll show you what will happen. So Facebook Pixel Helper, install it into your Google Chrome. And then this is how I know it's working. And this is also how I discovered I had two separate pixels on my website. See this little area right here over in the top right? I know it's hard to see, but it looks like the Facebook Pixel logo. And see the number two? When I click that, it says found pixel ID. And there's that ID I was telling you guys. You really want to make sure to pay attention to that. And so it's got my ID there and it's got a check mark. So that tells me my pixel is working. If it says no pixel found, then you have not installed it correctly. Okay? Does that make sense? Do you guys need me to go over anything again for you? Sharon. Sorry. Go ahead. It says one pixel found on parse.com. Parse? P-A-R-S-E. Is that your website? Oh, that's weird. That's what I was going to ask, is if you have the Pixel Helper, do, does it show? For everybody, that's a good question. Yeah. Do you all have your Pixel installed on your website? No. Does anybody have their Pixel installed? I don't know. I think so. Oh, you think you do? Mm -hmm. Clovis RV? Yeah. Is it just clovisrv.com? I mean, I can't remember. Dot .co. Okay, let's go over there and let's answer that question. If not, I will get it for you. <clears throat> Site cannot be reached. Oh, that park. Hmm, it did not come up. Oh. Latrice, you <laughs> always have weird computer stuff. I know. <laughs> I know. That's why I need you. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to have to, let me write this down for Latrice so we can figure out what's going on. Okay. All right. That needs to be your new website, Latrice. <laughs> exactly. Parse.com. Okay. So that is basically um, the pixel. And I think what I'll go ahead and do is create a, uh, uh, just like I did on how to set up your Facebook page, um, how to set up your Pixel, and I'll email that to all the attendees today. Okay, that way you have that, because I meant to have that and I must have forgotten. I probably got overwhelmed in all the details of trying to get this condensed. Okay, so we've gone through that. Um, now, if you don't have a Pixel by the time we get ready to do your ad, or if you have any problems getting it installed, or if your developer just drags her feet, I am gonna teach you another way to get before your warm audience. Um, actually, I would say lukewarm, because it'll be part cold, part warm. Um, so we'll definitely get to that, but here is homework number one, and that is before we meet next month, I need you to get that pixel, and I need you to do it ASAP, because we're gonna need the entire month for you to build up your audience so that we can create a look-alike audience that's nice and robust, okay? So I don't think there is a pixel there. Yeah. Okay, so any questions, any more? Okay. You said that um, pixel genius thing, yeah. have that if you want to install it yourself, right? Yes. So well, you would just um, go to the go to the website where. Let me get back there. Okay, so when you're, are you referring to installing your Pixel on your website? Yes. Okay, so yes, yeah, set up install Pixel, and where it says manually install the Pixel co code yourself, mm -hmm. um, that's where you would copy and paste the two pieces of code that you need. Don't, guys, don't worry about the automatic advanced matching or any of that stuff. Just grab that code and put it where it tells you to, or you can email instructions to your website developer. So right there, okay? All right, now we're gonna get over into the content creation. Now, there's two fold purposes for this. Number one, 
you do not have to have a Facebook page that's got tons of awesome posts, but it really does help people to decide to do business with you. So I highly recommend it. So I am going to go into that aspect, uh, but also what I'm teaching you now will be part of your homework of capturing content over the next month, both pictures and videos to bring to class. Okay, so it's got a twofold purpose. One, you need to be posting. Two, you need to have some content for next month. Okay, so I'm just going to take you through the steps of what I do. So I want you to think of this word, infotainment. Okay, so information is a, I believe it's like a $3 billion business now, or it might be 13. I can't remember but there's billions being made of online, you know, education, et cetera. And uh, also what people love is to laugh. And so if you can combine those two, it's golden. Um, but also you wanna make sure that you number one, know your target market, which we'll get into how for you to figure that out. But you also wanna make sure that it's relevant. It needs to be fun. It needs to be interesting. Give people a reason to laugh. Give them like a little mini break in the day where if they get your Facebook post, they chuckle and show everybody. Okay. Um, for those of you that are introverts, you need to include your face and your staff's faces as much as possible. Um, I still hate doing pictures. I can put my phone on record and I do it safely, guys. I am not violating any laws. And I will record myself as I drive because I'm driving and I don't have to see my face. Um, but, you know, for those of you that are introverts, I still can't do pictures very well because uh, very well I just feel like an idiot. But anyway, you want to do that because scientifically, the more people see your face, the more they like you. It needs to be on your email signature. It needs to be on your, your Facebook. It needs to be on your website. You need your staff's photos on there because when people walk in, they're like, I saw you on Facebook. And, and I always, just a little tidbit. What? What's going on? Oh, okay. <laughs> so one thing that's important is uh, that I do with my, my clients is I'll get their staff, you know, picture of, of their entire staff, and I'll ask, like, you know, what do you do there? How long have you lived in Clovis? And what is one unusual fact about you that no one knows? Okay? And then you can post that on Facebook with their picture, and then people come in like, oh, I saw your Facebook post, and I didn't know you liked to do that, or whatever it is. You always want to think about bringing them in the door or bringing them to you. And if they have something fun they saw, it's an instant conversation starter. It's an instant rapport builder, okay? So also use pictures and videos. I think it's up to 70%, it may be 80, of Facebook users watch videos now. I'm going to teach you how to do the videos with closed captioning. Who turns up the volume? No one, unless it says to turn up the volume. And even then I'm like, no, I don't want to turn up the volume. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you still want to make sure you have the closed captioning. I'm going to teach you guys how to do that. I'm going to teach you how, you know, that little bar that goes across of some of them. It's addictive. I will watch an entire video, even if I think it sucks, just to make sure that video completes. Okay. <laughs> also conduct Facebook lives. I'm going to teach you how to do that next session. Uh, batch content creation will save you a lot of time and then scheduling your posts so you don't have to worry about it for the month okay all right so this statement's important be a curator and a creator of content if you will curate some of the content that's out there like the funny um, pet videos for Friday funnies um, the how-to videos things like that that's relevant to the target market you're you're going after it saves you so much time it usually takes me about an hour to curate content for my clients a month it takes me a lot longer to create it so you're looking at probably three to four hours Okay, you don't have to post every day unless you want to. I usually have two to three posts a week, and you may want to write that down because I don't think I put that anywhere. So two to three posts a week is usually what I do. Okay. And times of posting a day. That, you're going to have to figure it out. Um, I found Tuesdays and Thursdays really good. Uh, people, for some reason, seem to be on Facebook more on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then Fridays, I'll do my Friday funnies in the morning or at lunch or when people get off. Uh, but really, it depends on your customer. 
because like um, I'm doing the content creation for K-Bobs and they get great engagement no matter the time of day. So you just need to start watching your analytics, which I'll teach you guys how to do that. Um, you mentioned posts two to three times per week. Are you talking Facebook ads or actual posts? Posts. Okay. Yeah. Ads in addition. We'll do your ads later, but usually I run an ad about two weeks. Yeah. So this is uh, posting on your Facebook page fun, relevant infotainment stuff. Okay. So something that makes you laugh, post it. Unless it's dumb so like you know if you are constantly told your sense of humor is really weird and disturbing no do not be a gauge of what to post you need to filter it through your friends okay like my stuff that I post on my Instagram that I think is so brilliant my funny videos I showed um, an extrovert and he's like I don't get it I'm like, whatever okay so let me go to, um, I do work for, uh, let's, well, <laughs> okay, let me show you this guy. So the lighter side of real estate. So I do work for Tammy Waters and her um, group. And uh, I literally was laughing out loud by myself at my part-time job two weeks ago because there's so much funny stuff. But let me show you. This guy, the lighter side of real estate on Facebook, um, he, uh, his story right here over on the right is really interesting to read. He slept on that couch for years because he couldn't afford to live anywhere. And then he started doing the lighter side of real estate. And um, so basically he curates content from YouTube and different places uh, to make us laugh. So one is when you're having the worst day ever, but then you get uh, the clear to close, you know, a guy is crying. So if we click that, you know, he's all... Oh, no, it's a lady. It's a lady. So I get that to yeah, me. yeah. <laughs> see, um, 10 ways to add curb appeal, add curb appeal. So that one is more of an info, okay? Um, he then asks questions. What's the strangest thing a seller has left behind after a sale? You could do what's the strangest thing, you know, left in a storage unit or that yeah. you've purchased or whatever. Yeah. Um, Great. And then another Great one. <laughs> Happy National Go Fishing Day. Mom builds stream home over a pond, or man, so he can, build, uh, can fish from a hole in his living room floor. Um, wow. What did the happy realtor put on her business card? I give up. <laughs> what, what does it say? Wait a minute, I gotta see this. Oh, I have, lo oh, I give up, yeah. <laughs> so it, it just has this, you know, all these neat, funny things. And so I literally will also go to Google. And so I'll look up industry things. And so I'll look like, uh, like general insurance agency. I Googled um, insurance memes, uh, unusual facts about insurance. You know, you can be covered for alien abduction. And then also if you get cold feet at your wedding day, it can be covered. Yeah, I had no idea. Um, but I would do uh, real estate memes. So I'm grabbing videos, I'm grabbing pictures, and then look at this. <laughs> I can't even read it. This stuff is so funny. Um, so anyway, you know, it's just got really good stuff on here. Uh, like this one, when I overhear someone talking about real estate, you know, um, my face before telling my client the offer was accepted. <laughs> and use babies. Babies activate a special, you know, part of um, the brain. So I'm literally finding useful information and also fun information to regularly post on Facebook uh, for the month. That way, when people click on my ad, it takes them to my website, but also my Facebook page, they'll check that out and they'll see, oh, this is, you know, good stuff. And they'll start following and liking my Facebook page. Okay. So I'm just trying to get you guys set up for that. So that's a content curation. Now, let me show you how to schedule. Oh, man. I closed my Facebook page. Okay. Unfortunately, my Facebook page for my business isn't as fun like real estate. So, oh, that's sad. Yeah. 
Okay, so let me get to, they'll let me go there, to my Facebook page. Sherry, can I add something? Yeah. So I, um, this week I've been doing a lot of social media stuff, and they say that um, you have to, have to interact with your post. Mm, yes. So if someone makes a comment, you need to comment back. Okay. If, um, the less you comment, the less Facebook's going to post what you're saying. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, every, okay, every time you post to it, it bumps it to the people's timeline, uh, back up to the top. Yeah. Oh, okay. And so the more, yeah. the more comments that are on there, the more likely it's going to get to It's no longer, and I don't think it ever actually has been likes. Right. Um, you know, likes are fine. They, they hit the ego. But it's the engagement. You want to look at the engagement. So, um Looking at your engagement, are you getting likes and loves? Are you getting people commenting? And same thing with Instagram, guys, even though we're not talking about it. Um, you're building relationship, and so you want to comment. And that's why having someone post for you and you not commenting is actually a waste of money. So they either need to know your business so well that they're commenting for you. Um, I'll sometimes do that for Mr. Beckner at General Insurance Agency and Glass Doctor. I'll comment for them. But you want to acknowledge people because nobody likes to be ignored. Okay. All right. So you'll see right here, I've only got two left, um, but where it says uh, two scheduled posts. Okay. Now you can do it one of two ways. You can click see posts. And if you go into there, uh, it'll have a create post for you over on the right. Or you can simply go to write a post like you would normally do. Okay. So this is a sample post. Then pictures videos guys just the words boring boring even if you're announcing something grab that picture and i'm going to teach you guys how to do graphics in this series as well they're really pretty um oops okay so again you can do it as a normal post or you can go into scheduled and then create okay so this is a sample post and then i'm going to go over here upload a photo or video Oh, that's going to take too long. Let me grab a... Okay, so I just did this one for um, K-Bobs. And so if you'd like K-Bobs, um, follow their page, the local page, and then um, comment in this post what your favorite burger is. So this is a sample post. I've got my um, picture here. And then I'm going to go down where it says Share Now. You can schedule. Mm -hmm. You can also backdate. And so click on the calendar. I'm going to pick my date, so I'll just say the 29th, and here's where you can do the time. So make sure if you're in PM that you change it to AM, okay, if you want to do that. But you pick your date, you pick your time, and then you pick schedule. And so I literally have my phone with the calendar up because I confuse myself. I'm like, I don't know what I just, where am I at? You know, my calendar. So I'll have it up, and I will just follow my schedule along. Also, Let's say that you come to my website because you're really smart and you're going to visit my website and you're going to look at all the wonderful material I have for you, okay? So um, how to confidently close the deal. Let's say that you want to read that blog post. You grab that link because you want to share it to your Facebook, right? Okay. A lot of people do that, but then you have a tiny little picture on your Facebook wall that no one can see. So you want to grab a picture. Now, if that means I'm gonna go back here to my blog and I'm gonna right click and save that image, do it, okay? If you wanna create your own, own image, that's fine. But you need to upload a picture because people are just scrolling mindlessly sometimes. And when they see that picture, they're like, oh, that looks interesting. Mm -hmm. And then they'll go there. But sometimes when you share a link, you think it's going to post a picture, Mine won't because there's no picture on my blog for that, for that particular blog, okay? So that's what's important. And again, I'm going to teach you how to do your images, okay? So um, I always, always do that. So when you're posting, if it's a link, make sure you always have a picture or a video. Okay, so that may be, we got about 10 minutes left. Let me see what else we can get done before we go. I have a question. Mm-hmm. Uh, I yeah, I haven't seen any 
limit. Okay. And is there a limit to how many? No. Nope. Okay. Mm -mm. And you can even post several times a day if you want to. Yeah. This statement I put in red on page two. And, and this is how you need to shift your mindset because we get involved in doing business and we forget this. And you need to train yourself. You must view your business as a media company first. What you do is second. That is crucial. And um, you're going to have 90 days to shift your focus, guys. Spend the next 90 days thinking content, content, content. Like I've been personally mentoring Alyssa. And it takes time, huh? Because you'll find yourself in an event and you're like, why didn't I get a picture? You know, and include the fun and silly too. Because people love that. And, uh, and so you want to make sure that you're thinking in the media realm at first and then what you do as second. And that will help you. And that's not original. That's from Gary Vaynerchuk. Now, I want you to think about your brand personality. By the way, if you listen to Gary V, you will have to wash your ears out with soap. No joke. He does have a censored one on YouTube where he's not saying the F word every few seconds. But, okay, what's your brand personality? I want you to take some time on this. Are you fun and quirky? Are you educational and expert? Are you relational and nurturing? Now, if you did the fascination advantage last month in the training, you'll know. If you didn't, it may be a mystery. So go to howyoufascinate.com and figure that out. But you need to filter your posts through your personality. Um, like I think you guys are patriotic. You know what I mean? Like y'all are patriotic, a service. Um, that's something you want to uh, highlight. So any posts that, uh, you know, for the military and our country and things like that, that would be native to your brand and would be good for your, your posts. So the next 90 days, shift your mindset and capture, capture, capture content and curate content. Okay, so we're going to finish up with this. we got 10 minutes. On your homework, you're only going to do the first two. So on page two where it says set up Facebook pixel and start collecting content, both pictures and videos, in the next two months, you'll need 10 pictures and four videos. If you can get at least one video before next month, that's fine. And I'm going to teach you how to use a teleprompter even, okay, so that you can do your videos. Like Alyssa's been doing the teleprompter. Takes some getting used to, huh? But it helps because you won't remember everything. So we'll go through all of that. So what I want you to do is partner up. And like I said, we're going to spend the next 10 minutes. And if you have to go, please select your partner before you go and meet up between then. And I want you to um, think of at least several pieces of content you can capture using this page, Facebook Post Ideas. Okay? No, you can do it of your product or service. If it is you and a quick tip, keep it to 30 to 60 seconds. Use your phone. Native, authentic, real, that's all we're looking for. You don't need to hire anybody to do it. Just put your phone somewhere, record yourself, okay? Um, so just, it very simple. That's, we want to know you. You know, we don't want commercials. And uh, so very simple stuff. Um, but go ahead and partner up real quick and then bring um, what you get over the next month to class. And then we'll finish this slideshow next week. I'm going to teach you how to do freemiums and all kinds of stuff. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Before we have to go. Good job. Oh, thank you. That was great. I had no idea that Facebook had like a... Uh, analytics still with the pixel. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, are y'all partnering together? Okay. Partnering. Latrice, who are you going to partner with? You want to partner with Jonathan real fast? Okay. Who does not have a partner? I can help you out, Latrice. So we're coming up with Facebook posts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from this page if you want or anything you can think of actually.